Alex, we're uh, back out for fight number four. Yeah. Um, I think we're is it 17th of February. 17th uh, of February. Yeah, 17th of February, yeah. which is a big night because uh, well, we've got our central area fight on yeah. there with uh, Jake Byrne and Liam Williams. And then uh, I believe we're going to be showing live uh, Tyson Fury and uh, Usyk. Yeah. See you for the price of one, isn't it? It is, isn't it, man? Yeah. <laughs> um, and we've got a good, good, good card on there because, got, as I've just mentioned before, we've got a, a great top of the bill. Uh, kid I just spoke to this morning, Ryan Dickens, having his first six rounder, mm. and then we've got you. I think hopefully having your last four rounder. Yeah. Um, we've got a kid called Jamie Devine who had a very good performance last time out. And then we've got two kids making their debuts. Mm. And I always like it because they always bring a good crowd there. Yeah. So I think if everyone stays, which with the fact that they don't have to pay for what is that fight, yeah. then they should Keep all be staying and it should be a top night. And, yeah. uh, and I, that I think we'll hopefully all remember, especially if, if Tyson can become number one and mm. unify the titles. Yeah, it's a, it should be a good night. That that I um, sense it all keeps the atmosphere in well as well. So it should be lively in there. Uh, you know, we've only just started going there. I think we've had about three shows there now, and I filmed a couple of shows there a few years ago for Pat Barrett, and I liked it then, and uh, I'm getting to like it even more. Yeah. It's been done up now. It's nice, yeah, it's uh, and there's honestly there's not a bad view in the in the house, no, wherever you're, whether you're in the balcony or you're on the ringside. Doesn't make any difference. It's, it's, yeah, great it's all quite compact, isn't it? You, don't, you feel like you're on top of the ring when you're in there. It's watching. also must be brilliant for you because you know if you get that place full, which you know, seven, eight hundred people in there, the atmosphere is so yeah, it's so hard. much more. Yeah, like when it? young, uh, your little stable mate Jake uh, won the central area uh, yeah. to fight there. It was it was brilliant. The atmosphere yeah, it was, was fantastic, wasn't it? It's just it makes it louder, doesn't it? It's mm. more of a buzz in there because it's all quite compact and stuff. So. Yeah. Should be a good night, yeah. It's always yeah, a good no, night in there. I'm looking forward to it, mate. Looking forward to it. And like I say, uh, we have a, another strange one for you, mate. You yeah. don't get the easiest fights. <laughs> uh, your debut was a very tough one. It ended up not being tough, but that's just showing how good you are. But uh, Robbie Chapman is not the man that we'd normally pick for, for, for a debutant. Um, and now we've got another kid for you that we don't really know anything about, mm. but we do know. He's got a winning record, man. Yeah. And considering it's only your fourth fight, uh, it's certainly not the way we normally go. So uh, you must know some well, your manager, your, not your manager, your, your coach and the matchmaker must know something about him. <laughs> um, because it's, it's but, but it must be brilliant for you because, you know, if you were to get in with those usual su suspects, which we need, which boxing needs, but you can your expectations can be lowered a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this you, you you don't know what to expect, do you? No, it's just stay sharp. Just keeps you it keeps you on edge, doesn't it? Keeps you sharpness there when you go in. And all of my first three fights have all been good learning fights for me. The yeah, first well, one, Robbie Chapman, he was good. Y your second one was over in um, Manchester, and you fought uh, the kid who fought that show quite a few times, and he's horrible. Mm. He's so he's he's so awkward. But well, what I was really impressed with you, mate, was the the way you. <laughs> He wasn't awkward with you. Mm. You, 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 you know, he, he smothers you, he grabs hold of you, he holds you, but you didn't allow that. You used your feet perfectly and let him walk on to things, his uppercuts, little short mm. back hands. It was, it was a class performance, I think. It was a very, very good performance, mate. Yeah, he was just a tricky customer then, but um, that was just the game plan. We knew what he was about and just the little things to stop Yeah, but knowing what he's stuff. about and going out there and performing the way that you need to perform against someone like him, it's two different matters. Mm. And, uh, you went out there and you performed really, really well against, like I say, a guy who normally messes everyone around. Yeah. But not, not like that, not like that. Oof, can't even say it. Not on that night with you, mate. Yeah, it was a, that was a good performance. I felt sharp in that one. Um, my last one was a tough, tough fella as well, Polish fella. Yeah, a little strong. Quite a nice little shot in the first round. Yeah, woke me up, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, just stuck to me box on that one because he was a strong fella then. Uh, well, there's a good thing about you is, is, is this. I was just talking with Ryan Dickens, at both, you know, really, really polished mm. amateurs, well decorated amateurs. Uh, I think uh, Ryan won a few national titles, you've won a few national titles, um, and you can tell that when you box. Yeah. Um, but I presume you're excited for what 2024 can bring for you, because as we were saying before, this could be your last four rounder, yeah. you step up to six. By the end of the year, if everything goes cross, you stay injury free, mm. uh, you keep winning, 
then 2025 will be the year where I presume you want to go for titles. Yeah, it's just this, just keep progressing. As you said, four, four hours to six, six rounds, get a few fights in there, just to mature into it a little bit. Well, if, then, if everything, you know, we hope to get you out at least four times a year. Mm. So if this is your, your first time in 2024, and yeah. your last four rounders, then that means maybe the next three fights are your six rounders. Mm. And depending on how well you're doing then, then that sees whether we, we take a gamble and we say, you know, if John thinks you're ready for it and Steve thinks you're ready for it, then maybe you get in the uh, prospect v prospect. Yeah. Whether there's a title on the line or not, but you know if you beat a prospect, then the next fight should be for a small little title, yeah. whether it's a central area or even better. Mm -hmm. Well, we were in no rush, but as I said, just keep progressing nicely. Um, settling into the six rounds, see how we get on, and then go from there. As you said, 2025 could be a big year. And have you done much preparation for this? I mean, I've been watching you today, obviously, and uh, I saw Boxing Pacific and everything, and all the horrible bits that, that no one likes doing, but John forces you to do. Um, <laughs> what's that machine that he had you rolling? It's just a pure armband of that one. Just oh. all, all, you know, yeah. It doesn't even look like it's cool, though. You know, it's sometimes fun, you hear the going. Uh, yeah, oh, that's a, that's a tough one. Uh. Sweat was yeah. dripping off him, mate, <laughs> and he looks such a simple thing to do. Yeah, just especially at the end of a session with your arms on fire, all your shoulders are burning, but <laughs> it just strengthens you up, doesn't it? For, uh, <laughs> um, as time goes but, on. But, uh, any sparring been done, or uh, is that just about to yeah, start? Yeah, just that, and got a few lined up this week, and then just keep getting two, three a week until fight night, get sharp, mm -hmm. and that should be enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's, uh, it's a tough one. We've got, what is it, three weeks on Saturday? Three weeks Saturday, yeah. So, so, four so weeks, basically, four weeks you've got gone. three, just, just less than three weeks of, yeah. of hard work left to do. Yeah. And uh, on that night, on the 17th, um, will Louise be talking to you and will she be saying win number four? Definitely. <laughs> Stop his number one? Yeah. Hopefully. Because <laughs> we don't know what we're going to get, yet. do we? We no, have no idea what we're going to no. get, so. Hopefully uh, he'll come with, with a bit of ambition um, yeah. because he won't want to go uh, deficit uh, because he, he could turn to three and three or he could go to four and two. Mm. So if he comes with that attitude, hence it makes for a, a good night of uh, yeah. boxing, doesn't it? Yeah, I've just got to go in there and perform to me best and, uh, and then I'll be coming away with Do you feel there's much difference now? I mean, this is coming to the end of your first year as a pro. Oh, have you, 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 just yeah, yeah, first year. Yeah, so near enough, there or thereabouts. Just over a year, yeah. Um, so, how do you feel now? How do you feel you're progressing uh, in yourself? Do you feel different to as you were uh, when you had your last amateur fight? Uh, yeah, I feel different, yeah. It's just maturing into it. It's a different game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, all the little things you pick up, different bits and bobs, only little stuff, but it does definitely make a difference. If, you just keep learning. If you was to face yourself now when you had your last amateur fight, how would you fare? I'd probably get danced around. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know, it's an hard one, isn't it? There's not that much difference, to be fair. No. It's, just little, it's just tiny things, as I said. Tweaking? Just, yeah, just tiny tweaks to the programme, that's different. Yeah. No major changes. Still the same technique, everything, punch, punch selection. The feet maybe be a little bit different, head movements, a yeah. little bit more head movements. But that's it, just tiny things. Right, well, listen, we we'll hope to see those improvements uh, on the 17th of February. And let's say, hopefully, Louise will be talking to you. She'll be saying win number four. Absolutely. And uh, then we can uh, look forward to uh, stepping up to, to six rounds, hopefully, yeah. next. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, listen, good luck for the 17th, mate. Right, cheers, Lee. Take Thanks care. Bye. For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.